Serach, Ecclesiasticus 40. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of men. From the day that they go out of their mother's womb, till the day that they return to the mother of all things. Their imagination of things to come, and the day of death, trouble their thoughts, and cause fear of heart. For him that sits on a throne of glory, unto him that is humbled in earth and ashes. From him that wears purple and a crown, unto him that is clothed with a linen frock. Wrath and envy, trouble and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife, and in the time of rest upon his bed, his night's sleep do change his knowledge. A little or nothing is his rest, and afterward he is in his sleep, as in a day of keeping watch, troubled in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. When all is safe, he awakens and marvels that the fear was nothing. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. All things that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again and that which is of the waters returns into the sea. All bribery and injustice shall be blotted out, but true dealing shall endure forever. The goods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river, and shall vanish with noise like a great thunder and rain. While he opens his hand, he shall rejoice, so shall transgressors come to naught. The children of the wicked shall not bring forth many branches, but are as unclean roots upon a hard rock. The weed growing upon every water and bank of a river shall be pulled up before all grass. Bountifulness is as a most fruitful garden, and mercifulness endures forever. To labor and to be content with that a man has is a sweet life. But he that finds a treasure is above them both. Children and the building of a city continue a man's name, but a blameless woman is counted above them both. Wine and music rejoice the heart, but the love of wisdom is above them both. The pipe and the psaltery make sweet melody, but a pleasant tongue is above them both. Your eye desires favor and beauty, but more than both, grain while it is green. A friend and companion never meet amiss, but above both is a woman with her man. Brethren and help are against time of trouble, but alms shall deliver more than them both. Gold and silver make the foot stand sure, but counsel is esteemed above them both. Riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of Yahuwah is above them both. There is no want in the fear of Yahuwah, and it needs not to seek help. The fear of Yahuwah is a fruitful garden and covers him above all glory. My son, lead not a beggar's life, for better it is to die than to beg. The life of him that depends on another man's table is not to be counted for a life, for he pollutes himself with other men's meat. But a wise man, well nurtured, will beware thereof. Begging is sweet in the mouth of the shameless, but in his belly there shall burn a fire.